All right. Good morning, and uh, welcome to Momodora 2. Let's start the game up, shall we? Controls, A, attack, ooh, and a throw seal. Shift this map. Alright, get a map. Nice. Okay, let's start this game up then. Hmm, it's a little slow. Okay, let's see. Yeah, I always game capture with that. I don't know why. Okay, whatever. One moment while I fix this problem. Should be fine. There we go. All right, let's try this again. There we go, much better. Let's see, A is jump. Uh. All right, let's roll. Alright, so we're on a quest to find the Underworld Queen. <laughs> Hi, Siri. Okay, no high jump as of yet. Interesting. Ooh, whoa. Oh look, all the enemies from game one are statues now. Interesting. Hey look, we found the Underworld Queen. That was quick. Morning Toast. She won't even try to kill us. So how do you get... Hmm. Maybe if I toss a seal at it. No, I don't have seals to toss. Did I? We'll get through this room. I'm not going to get lost on level one. It ain't happening. 
Oh, there we go. Go up this way. How much do we need? Yeah, that's what we got right now. This is what we're attacking. That's our primary weapon, is the Magic Leaf. We should game volume a little bit. So I can't actually hit that block. Ow. Except they come from from below or something. Alright, so what's up here? Now, anyway, according to the maker, this is supposed to be an improvement on the first one where they uh, polished a lot of stuff out and made it more towards uh, exploration by some um, arcadey action. Oh, is that a secret? Oh, shit. Uh, didn't want to waste that. I mean, for what it's worth, the graphics already look better than the first one. Yeah, technically, yeah. Uh... a lot more atmospheric too or at least a little better than the first one also <laughs> you would assume that wouldn't you well the first game or what little I've seen of it also involved mostly cyclopean enemies so I could see where they'd be coming from I guess and I suppose we're coming right back to the same area again Except now there's a new structure in its place. Ow.
Okay, that's pretty cool. Jump over here. Hmm, it's over here. Ominous. We got a rival now. Nice. Oh, hi, clowns. How you doing? What's that? Who's that? What's he doing? Why he... does his hair look like that? Because <laughs> we're playing as a girl right now. And we're just ready to meet our rival. I bet it's a rival love interest. That's how you sell games. What? Rival love interest? So how you doing, man? Fantastic. Ah. I just doubled my internet speed for only ten dollars more per month. Damn. That's neat. My stream's gonna be rocking. I can upload it ten megs a second now. <laughs> oh. That's good. Except normally you don't want to upload your stream at 10 makes a second because nobody will watch it. Yeah, that's their problem. Uh, I gotta figure out how to beat this boss. Looks like he stuns himself when he uh, runs into a wall. Yeah, he does. Then he turns around and fires a big uh, wave. And then he throws a try shot. Yeah, so then jump over him, wait for him to crack his head in the wall, and pound him while he's stunned. Uh, I could try that. That should be fine. Ooh, you die in a neat way. I know, right? Ah. I think we got it down. He throws two, two double shots. One you have to jump, the other one, both have to be jumped, and then we're to jump over him. That's how we got him. Alright. Well, since he doesn't have a life bar, I'm guessing he operates on the rule of three. Nope. He actually, he actually has hit points to him. <laughs> okay, get over here. Well, this is already improvement over the first game for sure, because there actually is frenetic battles going on. Yeah. Now it feels more like a Castlevania game than anything else. Ow. What do your little uh, tarot cards things do there? They're seals. They hit. They can, play, they can be used to break blocks or hit enemies. I swear we'll get past this guy eventually. <laughs> it's the first boss, so you gotta be able to get past him. Yeah, it seems like kind of a tough boss. Yeah, very For tough. For five minutes into the game. <laughs>
does seem like a game better suited for a controller than a mouse and keyboard, though. Yeah, but it's a keyboard and mouse, well, keyboard game. So how's your day going? Oh, nice and quiet. I'll be asleep soon, so I figured I'd pop in. Oh, alright. I thought you were at work. No, I've been home for a few hours. Oh. Oh. Wow, they actually use an F-bomb in this game, huh? Yeah. There actually is dialogue. Gross. Our whole point for being here is to take on the, uh, de was it the Demon Queen or something like that? Or Shadow Queen or whatever, I can't remember her name already. Who mocked us for being too weak to first even face her. Huh. So it's basically a... Bully. No, there's a reason. Oh, well, didn't the first one, like, your, your sister was kidnapped or something? I don't remember. That was a slightly better reason than I challenge you to a duel. No, she didn't. Uh, we were just here for that reason, then she, and then we met her in the first, uh, before we actually entered the place proper. Ow. Maybe I need more healing magic or something, I don't know. There was a statue we prayed to earlier, which you saw, but it gave, and it gave us a little thing over there. Alright, so, jump, jump, and run one. There we go. Ow. Until you get four hearts, or you get, you're taking half a heart worth of damage. A quarter the heart. The first game... Oh, you're taking quarter hearts? Yeah. Okay. It's a little better. I was saying the first game you had, I think you started with five hearts. <laughs> oh, see, so you're, you're committing suicide by being way too close to him and jumping into him while you're hitting him. Yeah, I noticed that. Alright, let's try you've this again. Some, you've got some good range on your magic leaf. You're just right. burning through those cards. <laughs> Anything yeah. to end this fight. I think I finally got it figured out. Doing well. He's got a hell of a life bar. Yeah, no, right? There, got him. <laughs> All right. I'll uh, confirm that in a minute. There he goes. Now you've won. Yep. Oh, 
<laughs> there he is. Alright, so we got two paths to go left or down. Those, are those radishes? I Maybe think so, yeah. Ceiling? Yeah. Huh. Let's, let's go down. My thoughts exactly. Radishes, that's an upgrade from, you know, Cyclops enemies. They, they do appear to have two eyes. <laughs> uh, yeah. So it's such to pray at. Give me some power. Oh, and enemies drop hearts now. That's definitely an upgrade from the first game. Oh, definitely. Had to make it through the entire room last time and wait until the next bell. <laughs> yeah. Plus they drop seals, so we, well, some of them drop seals anyway, so we can actually replenish our projectile attack power. Alright, sit back up. Ooh, now you can wall hack. Yeah, right? If only had something to wall hack with right now, but I'm out. Yeah, but they were well spent. Uh, I would imagine that boss fight would have gone on for another two or three minutes without using all those shields on them. Ah. Uh, I'm, I'm guessing enough. they're pretty... I'm guessing they're reasonably powerful compared to your regular attack. Hmm. So back up here... Well, I can't go back up this way anymore. And I don't think you can make that jump. No, I don't think so either. There's gotta be a place I can go down south then. Something here for the statue. Now there's a uh, prayer statue is also heal your strength or reheal your health, so hmm. well, let's try this. Oh, I don't have any seals still. Yeah, it would, it would seem neat if they gave you the... Now your seals can go through walls, and you have to, like, hit a trigger that's hidden in a wall, but you don't have any seals left. Yeah, I know, right? You have to, like, go around farming enemies. They don't seem to be respawning, either, when you leave the screen. Yeah, it's... I see that. I'd try killing those floating guys and see if they drop seals for you. It's probably has to, how that has to work. But I'm not seeing an obvious switch hidden in a wall either. No, yeah. But it has to be because there's nowhere else to go. I don't have a high enough jump. Oh, so we got a map now. Always an advantage. Yeah, it is over the old game, yeah. So now, now we're like Metroid. I don't know, Cal, we just need to get, get, get uh, game need to be great. I don't know, I actually like the soundtrack. Let me go up. Can you jump off an enemy's head or something? No, no. You get contact damage. That's how I hurt myself a lot against the other guy. on that wall. I think it... 
Maybe I shouldn't have shot off all those seals. But even if you had one, I don't know what you would shoot it at. I don't see anything obvious. Yeah. Alright, so let's go back to the boss room and see if we can if there's not like a secret um, passage I missed. That's the only thing I can think of, because uh, there had to be a passage I missed somewhere. Because this game did that earlier in one area where there was like a, se a semi-hidden passage where you walked into the wall but you didn't go really that far. And that would have- right, Oh! That... Right here. Yeah. Kind of a jackass thing to do, but whatever. It was- it, the exit was well hidden. I'll swear at it in a moment when the stream gets to it. <laughs> you're fine, you're fine. Alright. Let's see what's down here. Oh, okay, that is really counterintuitive. But we got seals, and I know exactly where I want to use them. Well, I think I want to use it anyway. You also have an arrow pointing up, and you're going right. Well, I don't have a high enough jump, jump to get that far yet. No. And I died. So those guys are in here from the first game, the little... Cyclops? Cyclo yeah, the Cyclops that throw Cyclops eyes. Yep. Spike eyes. Yeah, uh, in the very beginning of this place, you actually see some of them uh, as statues, because it looks like they got turned into statues. Alright. So yeah, the upper room means I had to, to go up, but again, I don't have the proper move to do that, so that's what we're trying to figure out where to get. What is the sparkly bar on your right that you have two out of four filled? That is... I don't actually know. Um, I you assume prayed at one of the, you, you prayed at, like before right before you died. You prayed at a statue, and it gave you sparkly, which filled yeah. up that bar to the second level. Yeah. I'm guessing it's gonna give you another health part when you uh, fill it up all the way. I'm hoping for another ability. But yeah, you're right. It's probably just a health upgrade. All right. So can I hit this from over here? Wait, is that chest already looted? You didn't get to that one yet, already did No, you? that's where I got my seal ability. Oh, okay. Ooh, a love letter. Let's read it. Alright, well that defeats the statue thing. <laughs> okay, so the use of that twinkly thing is still unknown. <laughs> we'll find out about two more statues. And this must be the princess from earlier. 
Who's not a human? She could at least be a cyclops to fit in with the rest of the rest of these things. Yeah, I guess. Oh, you must be able to break those pots. Oh man, we're gonna give it a shot in the moment here. Let's find out. Thanks for reminding me. Is that a statue of uh, Ryu from Street Fighter? With a giant leaf shield, yes. <laughs> Oh, background pots that can't be broken, that's frustrating. That it is, that it is. Almost more frustrating than a dark map. Well, at least we got like a little light. And there's no hidden spikes that I can't see. Yet. Not yet! Not yet. Wow, they're gonna give you another heart already? That's, um, pretty quick. That could be also ominous depending on how you want to take it. Yeah. Doubled your health in less than five minutes. <laughs> hey, and now we just got our double jump. And no, I don't know oh. how to open that chest yet. Maybe that'll be the use for that twinkly thing on the right. Maybe. Opens one chest somewhere in the world. <laughs> yeah. Right. It doesn't even tell you which one. <laughs> you have to go back and search all the maps. Oh. And it'll give you that awesome message. Something happened somewhere. Oh no. Don't go there, man. Don't go there. <laughs> <laughs> you know what happened last time we heard that? We had to search the entire map to find it was really close to where it, where it happened. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Alright, we're one statue away. Wait, the hearts that enemies drop, are those worth a full heart? I don't know, I think they're, they're worth quarter. The check on that, that would be really nice of the game if it was worth four hits. I guess. This is up here. Oh, it's this room again. Now the game is actually is similar too because you notice you, you know you're supposed to kneel here because there's a little girl there's like already a person praying right there. And this is actually the first statue you run into that you have to pray at. So it's pretty cool how the game didn't you, Huh? Didn't you pray already to you get something else? No no well this it this statue here is the first one you get to uh, that you have to pray at in the game. It okay. lets you know you gotta pray because it's got a little person right there already praying. Sit a little on the- Do you any? 
Uh, anything? no, because that, that was the very first statue I prayed at. It gave me a health up. Oh, okay. Yeah, regenerate my health though. And now we can go up. Back, but... Yeah, but back down, there was something you could throw your, uh, your cards at. Um, uh, so that was another Hard. way to the same room. Oh, you ever been there? Okay. Yeah. Oh, so stuff does respawn. Another character. Is that person sweeping up demons? Uh, no. Yeah, yeah, she is. She's sweeping up death clouds. Hey, uh, Clockmark5. No, this is actually a Momodora 2. It's not really on the uh, Twitch game list, so I thought I'd just throw in what I thought was the closest. This is, a um, Game 3 is actually on Steam Greenlight, and I wanted to play this one to see if it was worth it. Yeah, it's a. Uh, I guess the first game was supposed to be more like Cleave Story, but it was kind of May. This is game two, which is more like a Metroidvania game, which is also a lot better. What the hell was that? Oh, wall. The person you just spoke to looked really hungover. <laughs> she might be. She might be. Uh, who are you? What's your name again? Uh... You got Go get beer. me an aspirin. By aspirin, I mean beer. <laughs> Alright. So we'll have to come back here once we actually can disable that force field. Is there a secret over here? No. Oh, uh... Mark, it's in the uh, the actual game title, just not the what what where what he's playing. Momodorian. No, yeah, yeah, that's not it at all. That's just uh, what I gave because I wanted to be a little creative with the title. Oh. Sesku not only lies, he also shoots you in the back. <laughs> Is that another cell I can't break? No. Nope. Yeah, I rewatched that Payday 2 video that we did the other day. Yeah. And I realized that I actually have Inspire. So I'm not sure why I was getting shot all the time trying to get you guys back up. <laughs> but I just stayed and covered and yelled at you. <laughs> Oh, I think you're gonna need a, a card upgrade to break those new blocks. No, it goes to walls, so we're good. Oh yeah, the star ones, yeah. In fact, I just circled right back around to the beginning area again. Oh, there's a statue of Chong Li. 
This is getting just throwing hearts at me now. Yeah, I circled all the way around. Got me, game. You would think some of those heart upgrades would be, you know, well hidden behind walls and whatnot. Uh, Secret passages. Only that one chest is, because it's... actually seem to be weaker than your normal attack yeah they're just they're just ranged and that's fun I can do ranged you talk to those ghosts or pray to them or something actually I haven't tried talking oh I try talking it doesn't work Uh oh. No! Oh, oh chess. <laughs> oh. Oh. Ah, at least he's not swearing at you this time. What did I fucking tell you about getting in my fucking way? <laughs> Apparently he learned a few more moves since we last left him though. <laughs> Cause holy crap. Yeah, he did. I think the um, the little darts that he throws are easier to avoid this time, but the uh, the triple Hadoukens are kind of hard. Yeah, so that was Clark Mark uh, speed booster. So now we know which game this uh, which game this thing is taking inspiration from now. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Try, try dashing through his attacks. Let's see if it does any damage to dash. No, I don't think he did any damage to anybody. Let this guy come up and try. Come on. Uh-oh. I think I can dash, yeah, no? I'm trying to see if you take damage when you dash. If not, you can dash through the attacks and then, you know, hit them on the other side. Yeah, I'll try one more time to make sure. Oh yeah, okay, we can try that, see if we can avoid damage by dashing. Seems the way to get through those triple shots. Well, actually, I could probably just double jump the triple shots. I forgot I could do that. Wow, he's ripping you apart. Yeah. So yes, getting all of those hard upgrades was ominous. <laughs> yeah, kind of guess. Probably kill that flying guy as so he's not there when you're fighting the boss. Uh, 
Okay, so... I think he doesn't give me a warning this time around. Well, no, I mean, you're at least 10 more minutes experience with the game. You don't need them to have tells anymore. Alright, so we can double jump all across all three of his things. All right, we'll give him one more shot for now, and then, um... Hey, do you happen to have, uh, was it Sonic All-Star Racing, right? Which one is it? Yeah, do you have Sonic All-Star Racing Transformed, or the second one? No. Ah. Uh. I have no Sonic games at all. Oh man. I don't think I've played a Sonic game I since the Hills. original Sega. Ah. Fast paced action control is not my uh, forte. But you played Mario Kart though, right? I did. I mostly just threw bananas at people. <laughs> well, that's what Sun All Star Racing is, is for the PC. It's uh, Mario Kart. Mm. Alright. And that I probably could play. Whoop. Alright. Gotta get his timing down for that one Uber move he does. It looks like he can only get in like two or three hits between attacks this time. Yeah, gotten a lot better. Yeah, I can't help you with the screen flashes, unfortunately, Clark Mark. Yeah, but if we did, the rest of this move is easy, so we just have to dodge his stomp, hit him twice, then get the hell away. At least far enough so I can do a double jump, or jump over him. Maybe that's what we gotta do, is jump over to the other side and hope he doesn't turn. But it looks like he's fixed positionally of where he lands from his uh, dash attack. Yeah, he is, um... Which means we can't get him to crack his head into a wall anymore. Nope. He got smarter. Yeah, you slam your head into a wall enough times and you're bound... Oh wait, no. No, it should work the other way. <laughs> Alright. Alright, so... Oh, he does turn! I don't know. Maybe, maybe do try dashing into him. Maybe that, maybe that'll stun him. No. And you still get hit by the ability, even if you dash into it. All right. No, Clark Mark, you don't get invincibility frames. I just checked. I wish you did. Alright, so... Here's a way to do this. I got 73 uh, things. I'm just going to try to toss them all out him when he's stunned. Maybe I can take him out with 73 uh, things left. Yeah, it's going to be something to make him stun because as is you're, you're hitting him a third as often as you were during the first fight and he probably has more hit points now than the first one all right so uh, as soon as he comes down i dash out of the way i turn i jump turn and fire that's how this got to work all right oh Ooh. 
house. Yeah, I think his problem is is that he's lost because he says that you're in his way, but he's two rooms away from a dead end. <laughs> Hey. Yeah, it's true too. Well, maybe he's just like us, just trying to find his way. Well, he's gonna be really upset when he gets over there and finds that chest open. <laughs> but damn, those dust, those. Death clouds hit for a lot. It took almost half my energy away. Must be like Abestus or something. Alright, so dodge, dodge, dodge. And just jump that. Okay. Dodge, dodge, dodge. Alright. Ow. Alright, I think I got him. I keep double jump to avoid his dash. Just guy can't go too far away, though. otherwise I run into his uh, shockwave. Very uncastlevania like to have candlesticks that you can't hit to get items. Yeah. I keep wanting to like I will keep wanting to like have you jump up and hit those things. <laughs> and they look like the ones you can hit too. Oh yeah, they look they're like they're freaking copy and pasted right out of Castlevania. <laughs> that might be it, we might just be allergic to dust. Oh, this is going to be a problem. Problem solved. Alright. So we got this guy's number at least. He should be easier to take out. Alright. Come at me. When he's firing his three beams, can he turn? Like, if you're standing right next to him when, yeah. when he lands... Yeah. Let's say you can just easily jump over his head and he'd be shooting in the other, wrong direction. Ah, didn't jump high enough for that. Okay, hopefully he has less, less HP this time around, because I cannot hit him as much as I used to. But I can at least get two more hits in on the second half when he, when he does the triple shot. Alright. That yeah, was much better. If your cards had some kind of seeking ability, that I think you'd be able to do this fight no problem. Just toss a couple extra cards in there while you're jumping around. <laughs> yeah. Alright, here we go. Tear me apart, let's try. Ah, sure, that's right into him.
Ow. Yeah. All right, let's get another go. I would say don't be don't be greedy on the hits. I mean, he has a absolute mirrored pattern from room to from side to side on the room. So I mean, get in four hits, then get away from the trip for the triple blast. So you can double jump it. <laughs> the spikes are the spikes are pretty easy to avoid. Yeah, they are, yeah. Like, I'm, I'm pretty sure the spikes are hitting the exact same places on the map every time. Well, it depends on where he's at. So they're not actually in the exact same spots. But he's only in two places. He's either on the left or the right. And he's in the same place on, on every time he goes to the left. Well, that's because I tend to be on the left or right. When he when he comes when he comes down for the dash attack like that, he, come, he comes in your position. Okay. Yeah, so even if you're in the air, he'll 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 come down on your X position. All right. Alright. He does his dive attack. Try standing like all the way against the wall. You can't. He he uh, he comes down on your position. So if anything, okay, you'll get contact clunk. damage. Yeah. So he won't clunk his head on the wall. No. Oh, shit. Yes, there we go. A lot less HP than before. Oh, that's who we're after. Underworld Queen. Underworld Queen. Is that her official title? Well, the villain we're going after for this piece, yeah. Oh, look, it's a princess we've been searching for, too. Hey, that's a girl? <laughs> Apparently so. Does not look like a girl. Got a pretty nasty mouth on her for a princess too. <laughs> uh, well, the there goes our rival love interest. Well, come on, you know it's, it's the the two thousands. Yeah, I know, but she gave up on it. She gave up on fighting us again, so she's no longer a rival. Maybe she's the one leaving all the love letters around the castle. <laughs> uh. Also, this is the first temple I've seen with like bar stools and a piano. Well, if we're going with the Castlevania theme, this is uh, Dracula's castle type. Hey, look, it's a four statue. Mm. What did we get? Alright. 
That's it? That was... Oh. That poor maid's been trapped in this little section of the dungeon for her whole life. <laughs> Yeah, the only thing to look after is that statue, which didn't do anything for us, unfortunately. Oh, wait, no, it opened up. So the four statues open up the force field. Oh, wow. Fuck, look who forces things. There. I think you should go hit that save bell before you go too far in there. Uh... Yeah, funny you should say that. Oh, I'm gonna giggle if you have to fight that boss again. <laughs> No, no, no. We're fine, we're fine. <laughs> uh, oh, you're lucky. It's just as soon as you said it, I died. <laughs> uh. Oh, and the save points give you full health back too. That is nice. Alright. Of that problem. Nope. Oh, they got some mean monsters in this cave. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah. Uh, so, my oh, my double jump is enough to get up there, but there's so many paths to go now. Oh. Yeah, I'm not going to Spike Way. Make ample use of your mini map. Yeah, let's take a look at our mini map, see what we got. Hmm. Well, I can go down and right, see where that goes. What are those, those S's on the map? Save points? Ah. Right, there's a treasure chest that looks like it's going to have a health item in it, but it's guarded by spikes in a, flowing, in a flying orb thing that shoots orbs at me. Let's go down. Oh no, that's where I came from. Oh, ooh, yeah, you only got, only got a one quarter of a heart. Otherwise, I'd say dash through those, uh, those spikes. Oh, this place is mean. Oh, yeah, uh, well, it's too late now. I can't, I'm not going back. There's too much stuff going on. Alright. I'm gonna skip that guy. No! Okay, fine. We'll try this once.
Hi. I don't know why you would why you would need your spikes too deep. That seems excessive. Okay, one heart back at least. I don't know, man. I don't know. Oh, save point. Alright, so this is a whole area back there I can't get to because there's... Uh-oh. Well, maybe I can defeat her now. Holy crap! Uh, yeah, let's. I'm gonna step back a few moments here, see if we can get a health power up. Cause I think we hit end game with the final boss sitting right there. Wow, that's a really powerful beam she's got. Yeah, she's Dracula. Ow. I feel sad. That's exactly what she's got, man. Oh, dear. I can't even go back up. So I think I have to circle all the way back to- oh, hell. Yeah, I gotta circle all the way back around, too. I'm gonna have to insist that you go back and try to open that mystery chest that's hidden in the wall. With what? I don't have a seal to break it with. I'm assuming, um, I'm missing something. Oh, wait, m no. No, the statues took away the force field. I'm too far in to go back. I don't know. Your, your, your bars. Your bar has all four levels now. Maybe that will open the chest. Ooh. It didn't get used up when you opened up the force field. Yeah, I noticed that. Alright, so when she teleports close to the ground like that, she's going to do a kill sat. Ow. <laughs> well... It was hard enough to get here as it was. Right. Now, there's only one chest that you missed, and we almost paused if that contains another health uh, upgrade. So it's got to be the four statues that you prayed at to fill up that bar. I guess. This can't be the final fight. She's only got two moves, just like the other guy did. Girl. That was a princess. Oh, I'm sorry, girl, my bad. The end arrival hit at first. Alright. I can brute force her pretty well as long as I stay away from the laser. So we'll try we'll try brute forcing her. You can probably chuck cards at her while you're waiting for the laser to go away. Oh, right! Because she just sits there. Yeah, she does. Do 
Actually, I forgot I had that off before that. I wonder. Ah, I think we got our number. Hell yeah. If you got if you got the upgrade to shoot your cards through walls, it'll definitely go through a kill set. Oh god, she's in the second form. Could be worse, you could be shooting dust clouds at or death clouds at you. Yeah, it could be that. It looks like the spiral thing doesn't reach the edges of the map either. It does. But if you jump carefully you can avoid it. Or you're right or you're right. <laughs> yeah. See, I'm pro at, pro at these games. I can see that by now. <laughs> <laughs> and second form down. What's your third form? Oh dear. Well, second form is easier than the first. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Oh, it's a fake out. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Uh. Oh yeah, if they start flashing like that, they should definitely be dead. They don't get to come back after making screen flashes. <laughs> alright, alright. I'm gonna go see what that other treasure chest is now since we got the chance to go back and look. <laughs> Oh shit, I went down the wrong path. Right. There's the exit too. <laughs> I should have moved, that's what I should have done. Uh. Alright, well now I got okay. it. Now I gotta beat this game because that is—I think that's the end game boss. No, then it goes to three forms without being the final boss. I don't know. They introduced three NPCs into the game that haven't done anything else. Yeah, three NPC. One that was your rival twice. One that was looking for a princess, and one that stopped as soon as she ran into a force field. Yeah. Alright, so where was it? The beginning of, in this castle, or was it in the other dungeon? Mm, first one. First one? Alright, we'll head back. It can't be this way. Yeah, before the before the first one of the force shield area. Alright. This place! I think it was in this hall. Uh, oh yeah, no, I know what you're talking about. I know where it is now. Yeah, it was it like, like the actual cave-looking area. The rock walls. Twice. Yeah, I'd hit up all the NPCs on your way back. Oh, you found the princess? Here, have this item! I wish. <laughs> uh, let's see. I can only remember where the hell this thing was that we're looking for. Seems everything was resolved before you, between you two. She, 
Jay made giant eyes throw me through the ceiling. No, 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 the other thing. princess. The what? The oh. rival. Okay. We, we resolved our differences through violence. Yeah. To wipe the floor with her twice. Well, that was after she gave us a pretty good beatdown. Am I in the right area for this? Yeah, it's somewhere. It's in this this looking type of map. It's on the. It's like against the left hand wall somewhere. Yeah, I see. I think I see where it's at. Yeah, I think it's up there. It's, it's like an invisible wall. Uh... No, oh, that's a statue. Okay. What's well, uh, not the way I came to it from, so. Not this way. No, go back, go back left. Yep. Past that Chung Lee statue. Alright. Oh, yeah, try. Try praying to those ghosts while you're at it. Oh, I gotta find them. That's how I know. That's how we got to them the first time. Just gotta get them. They're somewhere in this castle. You just walked by them. Really? Yeah. Go down. Past, like down from the four shield area, and then go left. Oh. No, that's to get to the treasure chest. Oh, no, here. No, go left. Trust me. All right. We're down. You. Oh, right here. Okay. No, no, no. Now you're going right. Yeah, ghosts don't do anything. Okay, mm. Medora's Sanctum. Well, that that yeah. hidden chest should be, yeah, against, uh, against that left hand wall. Alright, we will have to. It's, it's gotta be in the outside area, not the inside, so let's go back outside and find it. We'll talk to Drunk Lady again momentarily. Right now I'm on bigger business. You grind your face against every wall, mister. <laughs> I mean, I know what I'm looking for if I see it. I know what it looks like, I just gotta find it first. Alright, it's gotta be up this way. Nope. Okay, it's not there. It's the castle. Okay, it's around here. Near here, I guess. Nah, I don't think it was in this temple area. I think it was in the. It wasn't a cave area. Nope, can't access it. Still says, uh, sealed. Hmm. Well, that was a waste. So apparently we're not at the end game yet. Oh, maybe that could be post game. Well, I'm looking. Nope, nothing there. It's love letter. And this is the beginning, so... There's the statues of the Cyclops guys. Ah. 
out. That's neat. You can you can use your cards and to trigger a bell to get your life back. Like even if you can't get to the bell. Yeah. Hey, what's this? We could double jump up here now. Oh, it's a Easter egg. That's a lot odd. All right. Let's see if there's anything back all the way at the beginning. Nope. Nothing back all the way at the beginning. Yeah. Uh, no, I can't. I can see what you're talking about. But, no. Alright, well, let's make our treasure way back to the final boss and finish this thing. Now, save your cards on your way over there. Probably gonna need them again. Very much so. Yeah, I tried to hit a ceiling. There actually is an invisible ceiling there, so you can't advance any further. Alright, so we're back at min end. So we're gonna go this way. Oh. I can't believe I, found, I missed an area. Tell you when I see it. Oh, this huge area to the left. Huh. <laughs> yeah. Well, at least we know where two of the hearts are, so the only question is where the final one's at. Uh... We, are we pretty sure we do fill up that second bar? Well, there, we know two hearts are in the final area. One's behind a spike pit, and the other one's behind another spike pit with the Orby. You got one of them, though. Yeah, Unless then I died. Three in the oh, okay. Oh damn! It, it would be really mean if it was in that chest. Very well, yeah, very well locked chest. If I pray to this clip piano, maybe it'll give me something. No, guess not. Yeah, because in order to save you, I have to go back to the spike, uh, spike wall area again. Alright, let's talk to a drunken lady, see if she gives us anything. If you're unsure on how to progress, speak to the nearest drunk. <laughs> yeah. Alright. You hear the screams of pain and agony? That's why she's not going on. 
No, there are four like, ghosts. Uh, no. Bullshit. She's like, yes. Uh, yeah, but, but I, I took the force field. No, nope, uh, force field's still there for me. I don't know what's going on with it. Well, actually, it might very well still be there for her. Uh, because you have to pray that the four statues even get past it in the first place. Alright, her health's been boosted. She only prays for her headache to go away. Well, her local deity ain't gonna help her with that. Porcelain god. Uh. I gotta see what's this way. Oh, hell no. What the hell? It's a fucking trap. Oh. Alright. We're back in full house. We can try this again. Yeah, so you're just running around blindly. You gotta use that map. Wow, those like laser dudes are cool. <laughs> They're also cruel. <laughs> they hit for a lot. Okay, we're out. Oh dear gosh. Um, I'm gonna be extremely careful that I don't die. Okay. Whew. All right. Let's finish this. I'm not trying to waste cars, Clark Mark, but this is not easy. And uh, teleporting. Wait, is this the exact same fight? Yeah, you gotta go through all two phases. So now she's jack squat to me because I know her weaknesses. Alright. Kinda lazy to have the exact same boss fight. You think she would have learned something? No, we haven't defeated her last time. Remember, she killed us, so we had to come back to it. Is that the way it was supposed to end, though, or is that just like you're supposed to avoid the the floor demon? You're supposed to avoid the floor demon because I died. Okay. And then I went back and did a little bit of recollection to uh, make things easier on myself. Not that you need it, since she has the easiest pattern in the game. I know, right? Like, her pattern's even easier than the second time you fought the princess. Yeah, uh, yeah. Alright. Okay. So here we go, final boss fight ahead. Oh! Oh, oh dude, my sister don't even hurt her.
We might have a problem here. My seals don't even hurt her, so she's actually almost invincible in that phase. Yeah, that's different. And try this again. And those uh, floor spikes are instant death, I imagine, right? No, they do a lot of damage, that's all they do. Okay. Yeah, so might as well use up all your cards on this one. Yeah. Ow. Okay. I I I guess so, okay, got me, I guess so. Oh shit. Blah blah blah, we're tough enough to defeat her shadow and run. Okay. Oh! Ow! Oh shit! Okay. Oh, okay. That's yeah. an interesting gimmick. Yeah, she's a Ganondorf. You have to play Pong with her. <laughs> oh yeah. Sorry, Clark Mark, I can't help that. <laughs> yeah, the dev is actually the drunk woman. You will feel her pain. Oh. Alright, let's get a void. Oh, oh shit, shit, shit. Should have avoid. Should never stay too close. Okay. 
Now we know how to defeat her, so we just gotta hopefully last long enough to defeat her. <laughs> I think it's the first enemy that had that type of gimmick where they were able to bounce it back at you, though. And you gotta time it just right, also. Yeah. Like, I've seen plenty where you have to, you know, reflect or whatever back at them, but usually it's... I've never seen them hit it back. You Again, it's Ganondorf. Yeah, but he doesn't hit it back at you, does he? Yeah, he does. That's the whole point you know, of the fight with him. He hits it back until he gets so fast that he misses. Oh. And then he strikes him. It's uh, it's not the uh, it's not the Ganon pick fight. It's the one where he's playing the organ. Which game? Uh, Legend of Zelda: Ocarina of Time. Never played it. Oh well, never mind then. I'm talking There's... Link to the Past. Ah. Oh, then you're thinking of Agamemnon or whatever his name was. But yeah, you're right. Okay. That was di that was different. Oh, sh I kind of pinned myself here. He did not challenge you to a tennis match. No, but you had to know which one of his orbs would fire on you. True. I'm just gonna die here. I've I fucked this fight up. Alright, so it's dual, but I am not the greatest at timing. Oh, I'm out of, uh, seals. Alright, doing better this time. Got at least only lost one heart. At least she's nice enough to teleport back to her starting position before she fires her kill laser. So, like, well, if she, if she traveled there, she'd have a chance of hitting you on the way. So, I mean, you can just stand there and pound on her all you want, not have to worry about avoiding her when she moves. Yeah, that is nice of her. Alright. One. Alright. Avoid and run for it. Alright, so the biggest problem with this fight will be her balls. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I'm a child. If we're doing the, the bouncy ball gimmick, I'm going to have to call rule of three on this one. Okay. Muted for the sake of uh, dialogue. Don't worry about it. But it was good until I did mute it. Much improved over the first game. Boom! Defeated. Rule of three was right. Yes. Thank you, developer. <laughs> Thank you.
I don't even get credits. Fuck yeah, we're saving our game. Alright, this has been <laughs> Momo Torah 2. Uh, Why the did you open the other chest? <laughs> <laughs> There's that one chest that you just cannot open. I'll tell you what, you fuck. Let's go find it. We already saved the game. Let's see if we can pop it open now. Uh. Okay. Oh look, the door's open. Blah blah. blah. What's this? That's oh, a developer room. Oh, that one. <laughs> so wait, are you the little sister? Yeah, I'm a sister, yeah. So was that person who just ran out of the place, was that the character you played in the first game? No, I don't know actually. I didn't- we never beat the first game so I don't remember. I mean that would kind of make sense? Since she was looking for her little sister in the first game and now you would be the little sister? Is that a dog? Yeah. Like a come home. With, with a hat and sunglasses? Alright, so that just ends the game. Save again, maybe we can save game plus twice. No, I guess not. Alright, we got no seals, so hopefully we'll get some, but we're gonna get through this thing and find that chest. Blah, blah, blah. Do I get double jump? Oh, no. I don't. Took away all your abilities? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you should have saved. You have to play through the entire thing again and then save it in a different save slot. Wait, no. but you still, have, you still have all your hearts. Yeah, I'm in New Game your... Plus, yeah. Yeah. And you lost your sparkly meter. Well, I'm not going to worry about what's in that chest, so. Let's... Wow, that's mean. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> oh, man. So, anyway, don't save. It's not going to do a dang difference. This has been Momodora 2. Thanks for joining me, clowns. Thanks for watching, viewers, and have a great day. Adios.